is marking the 40th anniversary of Earth Day with the release of its third epic nature film, Oceans. The film gives viewers an unprecedented look at the world's oceans, some of which would never have happened without a key Canadian connection. Arctic Kingdom provided all the necessary support and logistics for the filming of the Arctic portions of the film. And with more on the project, we are joined by Graham Dixon. He's the man behind the Arctic scenes and the chief expedition officer for Arctic King Kingdom. Good to have you here. Great. Like your pin, by the way. Oh, thank you. So um, I understand you, uh, first of all, you saw the film in Paris at the Open. I have. I have. The, uh, it's spectacular. It really has brought the world's best together in a way that I don't think we've really ever seen before. What's really unique about this movie was that it was shot from the beginning to the end specifically for the big screen yeah. and it really brought the heavyweights of the uh, underwater cinematography together from all over the, all world. the world. And so you were the heavyweight um, up, up here uh, for the Arctic. Tell me, tell me about some of the, you know, you're familiar with the Arctic obviously, tell me about some of the craziest stuff that you filmed. Uh, Some of the really unique shots. The, the goals were the best of all of the Arctic. So whether it was polar bears, walrus, uh, the different whales like narwhals, uh, beluga whales, bowhead whales. Uh, but it was more than just seeing them. And that was what was so challenging and exciting about the project at the same time was the, the desire for intimacy, for nurturing, for beauty, and to really make it not just a documentary about seeing, but also about feeling and, and understanding a connection with the animals. Yeah. Um, give me, give me so you, got, you caught polar bears, walrus. What are we looking right, right at right here? What was involved here? Uh, this is a balloon shot of uh, aerial filming from a hot air balloon that was, was brought up into the Arctic. And How so, cold would it be there? Uh, a lot of the shots are actually not that cold. I'd say from probably around zero up to about 15 degrees. A lot of times the most dynamic uh, movements of animals is when the sea ice is starting to, to break. And so in order to uh, have that happen, the temperatures have to be warmer. And then as things are moving, animals migrate, and uh, it's, a, it's a time of change. Let's talk, I want to take a look at this, this particular picture right here. We're looking at a cameraman. He's in a cage, presumably. Yes. Why? Why is that? To protect him from the this, walrus? This was actually even, this was even before. We did some advanced uh, scouting and trials on different ways of uh, different filming techniques, different ways of stabilizing cameras. Walrus uh, can, be, can be dangerous. They're territorial. They're, they're very large animals, and one of the goals in this film, which we succeeded in doing, was to film a, a mother walrus with a, a young uh, cub baby. Uh, under really underwater yeah. in a way that's very nurturing uh, and that ended up we were successful in doing that with the support of Greece Fjord Canada's smallest uh, and most northern community up uh, on the bottom of Ellesmere and that was actually done with with no cage and very early in the season with a, a newborn uh, pup where the mother's full attention was really just on the looking after her uh, her baby and uh, I think is, is one of the very special uh, scenes in the movie. Graham, I cannot wait to see it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. And to find a link to the Arctic Kingdom website, uh, you can go to canadam.ctv.ca.